Hello, how are you? Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> uh, this is a time where we have to really, really move with a sense of urgency and learning something new because things have just changed overnight from brick and mortar to click and order. And, and I, the, the, the students who are uh, joining our, our classes on teaching them how to use their voice and how to use their story, they're saying, thank you, Les Brown. Thank you so much. I needed this and I didn't even know it. Listen, if, you, if you're ready to learn something new, because this is a brand new day. I, I, I was talking to one of my children and 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 one of the things that I really appreciated that they said to me, and at first I I didn't get it because I became angry. And then I had to sleep on it and think about it. I didn't say anything. I didn't express to her how I felt, but I had to sleep on it. I'd ask her to do something that she had the skills to do. And she said to me, you act like your children owe you something. Excuse me. You know, kids are different today. <laughs> I, would, I would have never said that to my mother. I would have never said that to baby Brown. Do you hear me? <laughs> I said, whoa, these are aliens, body snatchers, all right? <laughs> and I thought about it. I said, you know what? After I slept on it, she's right. They don't owe me nothing. So i tell you what it did. It started my exercise program. <laughs> I'm exercising. I'm doing push-ups. I'm, I'm doing bends and everything, staying in good shape. Because they don't owe me nothing. They owe me absolutely nothing. February the 17th, I'll be 76. My goal now is to die young at an old age, die young at an old age. <laughs> so if you if you feel like I feel that if you got a story, would you like to earn money with your story? Or you got a voice, you got a gift of gab, you like to work with people, you like to help people, and don't put it off, do it now. Things have changed. They've gone from brick and mortar to click in order. It's the internet. That's where the majority of money that's being made now. You can order everything on the internet. Now, so this is a time that you want to move with a sense of urgency and take advantage of it. What's happening to people mentally because of what's going on? When you feel anxiety because you feel that you are in a place where you don't have control and you are stressed and and many people looking at might losing their homes or being evicted or they've already lost their jobs that affects you or it happens to someone that you love that affects you and so part of what i'm suggesting that you do number one this is stuff and this is something i'm giving away I want you to go to hungrytospeak.com. I want you to go there because I have a series there that people have been raving about. I mean, I can't tell you the number of emails that I've gotten from people saying, thank you, I needed this. Go to hungrytospeak.com. I'm showing people and, and my son, John Leslie, he's interviewing me about speaking and, and we give you that free. And there's something called choosing your future that, that I want you to download it and, and just spread it around because people need hope. A lot of people are feeling anxiety. A lot of people feel stressed out of their minds. A lot of people don't know what to do next. And you have to harness the inner voice of, of helplessness you have to have some other input to override that. And this is what choosing your future will do. And you can't just listen one time. You got to make it a ritual to listen every day. And there's some of you have already experienced it. Now, 
They say knock, opportunity knocks on every door. No, opportunity stands by silently waiting for you to recognize it. If you recognize the opportunity that thousands, millions of people need help, adults and children, and, and here's something else. I want you to write this down. Every time I learn something new, I push something old out of my brain. Did you hear what I just said? Every time you learn something new, you push something old out of your brain. See, a lot of people don't want to learn now. They're lazy. Yes, yes. And, and that's okay. That's none of your business, none of my business. But if you're one of those like me, hungry, people that are hungry are willing to learn. People that are hungry know when you learn something new, you push something old out of your brain. You're keeping your mind active because you're engaged in this thing called life. You still have a presence. You're forced to be reckoned with, to be reckoned with. You have something special. You have greatness in you. And, and my goal at, 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 at 75, when on, on February 17th, I'll be 76, is to finish strong. Yes, I'm going for it. I haven't done all my work yet. There are more lives for me to touch, more lives for me to transform. I, I had a, a business meeting with a guy, and he said, I'm so excited to work with you. And I said, why is that? He said, I've been listening to you since I was seven years old. My father would put your cassette tapes in while he was driving me to school. And he said, I, I never thought I'll meet you. And I'm so honored. I said, well, I'm honored to meet you as well. Some of you have been listening to me since you were just little teeny weenies, okay? <laughs> You've been listening to me for years, some of you. You're going through some stuff, and you heard my voice, and I lift your spirit. In the midst of stuff, I, I was able to bring you to tears or, or make you laugh, make you feel good. Some of you know this voice. It's, yeah, yeah, that made me browse, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> and had I not been willing to learn something new, I would not be on that stage that you see right now behind me. I would not have been able to go on stages around the world and speak to thousands of people, crowds as, as large as 80,000 in the Georgia Dome. And I'm not making that up. You just put in Les Brown speaking in the Georgia Dome. You see me speaking to 80,000 people. It, it no longer exists, but that video does. Number one, how to connect with an audience that you can't see. You don't just sit down here and just think you can do it. No, no, no. I've been trained in this. No, no, no. Information is not enough. If you, you think it's just easy, you can just sit down at the computer and look at a camera and talk to people and transform them and you can't see them, don't get any feedback. Hey, if you're serious, if you're hungry to win, this is not for everybody now. Most people are satisfied with being mediocre. Anything that I do, I want to be the person. I don't want to do it halfway. I, I want to dominate. And there's some of you just like me. I want to dominate. I, I, I don't want to just be, oh, he was on the bench. Yeah, child. He sat in front of the computer. And uh, I had to do something else. Something else came on television. He's boring me. <laughs> no. This is what time it is. This is where things are. The jobs have changed. The industry has changed. And they're changing every day. We've had the rug snatched out from under us. We're still reeling from it. And with all the political upheaval and the confusion around of the, the, the various drugs that are out here right now and, and the arguments and the strategy for, for getting the, the virus and, 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 I mean, getting the drug that's being manufactured. And they got different kinds in enough arms and... Uh, 
the confusion in so many situations. Whew, should I take it or shouldn't I not take it? I'm talking to my twin brother today. I said, you taking it, Wesley? He said, yes, I am. He said, you taking it? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> I said, first I wasn't going to take it. I said, what is the have? It's better to have it in my arm and not need it than to need it and not have it. <laughs> Yes, I am. I ain't taking no chances. No. No, my goal is to die young at an old age. I'm going to bust 100. Do you hear me? <laughs> so, so learn something new and count on you. My daughter, she checked me. We don't owe you anything. Your children don't owe you anything. She's right. They didn't ask to be here. Yes. And, and so... I take care of myself physically. I'm taking care of the old man in me. I, I, I don't have to call them for anything. They call me because I got it like that. See, we there's one thing to get older, but we don't have to get old. You got to be intentional about that. Got to be intentional. And, and some people don't believe fat meat is greasy. Listen to me. Listen to me, Linda. Be particular about exercising, about keeping drama and stress to a minimum, about eating a lot of wabbit food, <laughs> and about laughter. I laugh a lot. Do you know it's good for you? Listen to me. One minute of anger weakens your immune system for four to five hours. One minute of anger weakens your immune system for four to five hours. Just think about that. Guy said one time arguing in a political debate, he said, you anger me. You are taking life away from me. And he died in the legislature. Yeah. Now, listen to this. One minute of laughter boosts your immune system for over 24 hours. So after you get through watching me, you won't get sick for 30 years. <laughs> you have something special. You have greatness in you. All this stuff is going on right now. Willie Jolly is right. This too shall pass. It has come to pass. You got this. You're stronger than this. Get the tools that you need that can keep you mentally strong. You need mind power. That's why I'm sending you to hungrytospeak.com. So you can listen to some stuff that will strengthen you. That's why I'm asking you if you're ready to learn something new. Because in, and when you do that, there's a there's, you have another voice, whether you realize it or not. You have another voice. And I'll teach you how to use that voice. Yes. And John Tellerico, one of my business partners, he'll teach you how to monetize that voice. Because now the motivational business, the self-development business, mental health, people needing to be empowered and motivated and uplifted, people needing the mindset of how do you feel connected when you're geographically apart? What do you do with that? And your voice, how you use your voice. This is not my original voice. I See, I knew, I, I had someone to teach me, that your voice will give you access, your ability to communicate. I, I hate to tell you this, but it's real. Your voice, when you use your voice effectively, it humanizes you. People are still talking about that young sister, Amanda Gorman who spoke at the inauguration. Still talking about it. She made an impact. You have something special. You have greatness in you. Your ability to communicate makes you stand out. See, everybody don't want to learn. And then you don't want to learn, nobody can help you. But if you're willing to learn, no one can stop you. I built my career on disruptions. I built my career on rejection, on no. I just kept going and I learned how to use my voice. I invested in myself. That's your superpower. Most people don't know that. That's your superpower. 
uh, let me give you a very, very good, good example. I, I saw this person and this, I'm a baby Christian, that's number one, but this is many years ago. She was just drop dead fine, gorgeous. I said, hello, how are you? And when she opened her mouth, I was shocked. I just kept walking. You would not believe how poor her communication skills were. And I mean, she was so radiant and gorgeous. And she said, don't you want to talk to me a little bit more? I said, not right now. I, I got some things to do. I got to go backstage and get ready to speak. No, I couldn't believe your ability. Have you ever seen athletes being interviewed and you just cringe for them? Oh my goodness. Ooh. Yeah, Mr. Washington told me, my, my high school instructor, he said, Mr. Brown, once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. And that's now true more than ever because of the fact that the majority of people are working from home. The majority of people are talking to their computer. The majority of people are looking at a camera. A majority of people can't see the people that they're talking to, can't get feedback, can't get reaction. And they have to do it in their mind. Mm. So all you need to do is be open to learning. Open up your mind and just be open to the possibility that you can earn money a different way. That's what I had to do. When I was fired from radio, that's what I had to do. When I resigned from the Ohio legislature and I was determined to take care of my mother, and I decided that I was going to use my communication skills and my story to do something else, to learn how I can help people and monetize it too. Now I'm, I'm using it to finish strong. Now I'm using it to teach others how to do it. See, you, you want to... You want something that's your calling. A calling is something that you love so much you do it for nothing, but you do it so well that... that, that but people will pay you to do it. Something that gives your life a sense of significance, something that, 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 that you can enjoy, look forward to, make you feel good, and make a lot of moolah more than your job, and you be your own boss and don't have to deal with a lot of politics in the office, or doing something 40 or 50 or 60 hours a week that's not you, living a misplaced life. If you are tired, just paying the bills, living a misplaced life, living this life that's stressing you out, something that's not in alignment with your values and your vision of yourself, don't just be sick and tired of being sick and tired. I've been doing this for 52 years, 52 years I've been doing this. And I look forward to doing it every day. I love it. I love it. I, if I'm dreaming, please don't wake me up. You'll see me smiling. <laughs> so he's like a little kid. Yes, he is. Yes, I do. I do feel like a little kid too. And I, I, I know that with all the uncertainty and stuff going on, the virus has mutated and now its cousin is here. Oh my goodness. But this too shall pass. Willie Jolly's right. We will get through this and we must keep our mind on that. That we, we don't have time to, to be stressed out. So all the walls are, cra are closing in on me. And I just feel like running outside and, and just running down the street saying, I, I can't take it anymore. You know, above naked. No, it's too cold to do that. <laughs> and that would be ugly. That would not be nice. No, go back in the house. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Here's something else. You can't see the picture when you're in the frame. I, I told a lady's story the other day on Clubhouse, which I'm going on Clubhouse and I finished talking with y'all. And she said, you told my story better than I did. 
I said, you know how long I've been doing this? Before you were born. I should be able to do that. See, the reason that a lot of people don't get coaching, don't get help, don't invest in themselves, they don't know that they don't know and they think they know. When you don't know that you don't know and you think you know, that can cost you. Mm -hmm. I don't like starting out at the back of the line. I don't want to take 10, 20, or 30 years to learn something if there's somebody that's already gone through it that I can learn from. That's why I invested in myself with Mike Williams. And I encourage you to get his book called The Road to Your Best Stuff. Yes, it's powerful. The road to your best stuff. I wrote the forward to it, and he's coming out with the road to your best stuff 2.0. That's that's powerful too. So, so if you're ready to learn something new, that you can have fun, that that's that's purposeful and positive and meaningful, and you look forward to it. And being, and this is major, being in a community of people that's going in the same direction. I can't tell you how important that is. Being around the right people, that's major. Having a coach and being in a community of collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships. If you know that's important, that's important. Having a coach, because you can't read the label when you're in the box. If you know it's important to be in a community of collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships that you can learn from each other, iron sharpening iron. Like I said, every time I, I learn something new, I push something old out of my brain. My goal is to be active in this thing called life. I'm not interested as a friend of mine told me the other day, man, I have lived my life. I said, is that right? Wow. I didn't know they had telephones in the cemetery. You live your life. And, and now you're making a phone call from the cemetery. You, you're taking a dirt nap. You're talking from the grave. No, no, you know what I mean. No, tell me. You saying you're through? Well, I don't mean it like that, you know. Uh, I get up in the morning and uh, I got my favorite programs that I look at. Uh huh. And old Mike Tyson fights. Is that right? Yeah. Mm, boy, that that's got to be mentally stimulating. Wow. Hmm. I'm not going out like that. How, if you agree with me, <laughs> you have more energy. When you have a purpose, when you have a reason to get up in the morning, when you're doing something positive and productive with your life, when you're living from your legacy, a good man leaves a legacy for his children and for his children's children. I'm a grandfather of 15 and a great grandfather of four. So I'm, I'm not sitting around with one foot on the banana peeling and the other one in the graveyard. No, I'm working. And I'm, I'm kicking it up several notches because I got some more in me and I know it. And I'm going to live full and die empty. And I'm going to show you how to do it too. We will have a good time together. If you're open to learning something new, if you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you're willing to learn, no one can stop you. When they fired me from radio, I went into politics and I was a state legislator, passed 14 bills my first term from the 29th House District in Columbus, Ohio. And then I retired from that and went to Miami to take care of my mother, fulfill a, a, a dream of buying her home. And, and then I learned how to speak. And then, I've been doing this for 52 years now. I learned how to train others how to do it. When you are willing to learn, no one can stop you. You have something special. You have greatness in you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.